Hello, um, my name is Arnold Fikondi. I'm just here to share a bit of a, a testimony to you guys. Um, just how I got from uh, homelessness um, to an own accommodation. Um, first of all, thank you Salvation Army and Alexander Hills there. Um, you know, you guys were a big help there um, in, in many things, wisdom, um, provided with food uh, when I was homeless. Um, and things like that. I thank Josh, Josh and, the, and his wife and, and, the, and the pastors there and that team there. Thank you Salvation Army for the hard work that you do and everything that you do. I use you, know, you, you constantly getting into it and, and, and you know, um, uh, they deserve some respect there, uh, guys. Um, but yeah, I just want to share that um, God's good um, and he's a provider, you know. Um, you might have be struggling with rejection, um, things like that in your life, but um, you know, they say that you know, what I've noticed um, with homelessness is uh, rejection is like one of the biggest causes as to why people are rejected. It's not drugs and alcohol, there's a, a deeper root to it um, as to why it happens, and, and, what, and one of the biggest roots that, that, that it happens is rejection. And uh, I just want to say, hey. Jesus wants to deliver you and set you free from rejection and from the spirit of rejection. Um, rejection is not of God. Okay? Jesus will deliver you and set you free from that. Um, it's not his will for you to live a life in defeat. You're supposed to live a life of victory. Um, and you'll find that victory in your identity and who you are in Jesus Christ by reading the word and believing it and applying it to yourself. Right, I struggled with rejection all my life. I'm 37 years old, and I finally got set free from it, from the spirit of rejection. I got set free from it because I believed. I started to come into a place of believing in who I am in Jesus through the Word of God. And through the Word of God, I found, I started to find my identity. You know, started starting to find my identity. Um, and actually allowing Jesus to deal with that issue in my heart and my mind um, with rejection, you know. Um, I just want to say, you're not rejected. Um, you know, uh, your family might have left you or abandoned you, but Jesus, you know, Jesus won't leave you or forsake you. He won't leave you as an orphan. You know, he's a father to the fatherless. Um, you know, he won't leave you in a place where you're feeling lonely, you know. He wants to fill that area of your soul, of you, with the truth, okay. He wants to come into your heart. He wants to fill your heart. He wants to fill your life with the truth and with his presence, all right. Um, you know, the only way that we struggle is when we choose to travel in that path that makes us struggle. And that's opposite to faith. And that's with fear or rejection and all these things, you know. But I just want to encourage you to get into read the Word of God and to come into that place that um, you're not rejected. And come into a place of declaration by speaking it, that you're not rejected. Stop waiting for people to come to you all the time to tell you how important you are. Stop. Come into the word of God and speak it over yourself. Yes, people do speak that. That's great. And receive it. Take the, that goodness. You know, take that. Lord. The Lord does work in that way where he does speak to you through people to, to reveal, to confirm and things like that. But you've got to also come into a place of, um, um, in the word of God, you know, um, Today's Christians, man, they're just, they're, they're lazy, straight up lazy. And then you just complain. We all complain and about why this and why that and this and that, man. It's probably because you're not reading the word. It's true. What are you running to more than Jesus? What are you running to more than the word of God? Are you, when you're feeling rejected, what are you running to? Do you run to gaming? Do you run to the pub? Hey? What else do you run to? 
Stop running to those things in the world. Stop living a life of sin. Jesus said, be in the world, but not of the world. You'll only find your identity in Jesus, not in the world. So yes, I was homeless. I went through all that sort of stuff, but God provided for me. And now I have my own accommodation. Um, I battled with rejection all my life, but Jesus delivered me and set me free from, from rejection. I no longer struggle with thoughts of feeling and thoughts of rejection or feeling rejected. Praise God. And um, I no longer live in a tent. I now live in my own accommodation in a unit here in Bundaberg. I'm now being planted in a church called Restoration here in Bundaberg. Um, the team, the, this church is incredible. Um, open arms, man. Loving heart. I've made a bunch of friends. Um, yeah, getting involved, just try, you know, with worship and things like that. I feel like there's a call with, with guitaring and things like that um, in music. And um, yeah, so my encouragement to you is that um, you're not alone. You never, ever was alone. You know, deal with that issue. Come to a place of repentance. Come to a place of the truth. Come to a place of forgiving that mother or father or that uncle or auntie or whoever it was that hurt you. Stop. Humble yourself. Come into a place of true humility and forgiveness and ask God to forgive you of having unforgiveness towards self. Forgive those, those people and ask God to forgive you. Allow the truth, the word of God, to set you free. Come into that place, eh? Jesus will provide for you, whether if you're homeless. He did it for me, and he did it very quickly. Because I come into a place of obedience and submission and humility. And I chose to come into a reverent fear of God and to just simply give up everything of the world. Come into a place of Jesus. Alright? I hope you're blessed. Um, God will provide for you, whether if you're living on the streets, He will provide for you. He'll give it to you if you want it. You've got to want it. Get up and take it. In Jesus' name, amen.